Hi, I'm Mark from Zone Edit. I'm going to take you through how to set up your DNS on a domain now that you've added it to the system. Once again, we're logged into the main member home. You see your domain list. You just want to click on the domain to open it up. First, you'll notice the status indicator that says the domain is parked. This is if you took the default settings when you entered the domain into the system. You can enter your actual DNS settings either through this tab where you can actually access each record type by type. There's also the DNS settings page editor over on this side and you've got a full, a full streamlined editor here or you've got what's called the modular editor here which is a, a different view on the um, DNS settings that we showed you over here under the DNS settings tab. So domain parked means that when you first add a domain and you take the default settings it just sets it to a parked state which means if anyone hits your website they're gonna see the zone edit this domain is parked page and um, it, it doesn't point anywhere. Some people want to keep it that way if they're only using their domain for email but you probably want to enter some settings. So one way to do it is over here you can actually just put in an IP address of your web server or whatever you want to point the domain at. Triple W is usually an alias to your domain root. This at sign here is your domain root. So whatever domain you've added to the system the at sign means, you know, this domain name without anything in front of the leading dot. So what happens then is shows you our old value, our new value, and now we're going to confirm it. So now the new DNS settings are in place. This time value that it shows you here, that is how long the time to live was set to in your domain. Now if you want to set that lower, let's say you have a migration coming up, you go into your SOA records. We see the time to live is three hours. So what we want to do is we maybe we want to set that down to 10 minutes. You would do this ahead of changing an IP address if you ever want to migrate from one location to another so your new IP address propagates faster over the internet. So each one of these DNS types has its own set of use cases associated with them. And what we'll do is we'll break out a short video for most of these common use cases. So look for them in the rest of the Getting Started section. Thank you.